Sweet. Cool. Okay. What's up, guys? So this is gonna be our first... Our first portion of the Shovel Knight Let's Play Through series. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I don't know if anyone's ever really live-streamed this. So we're gonna get to it. We're gonna do it. Planes of Passage here. Uh... I love the theme for this. I actually... I've actually played through this game. Uh... This will be... The third time? I... Had it on here, of course. Um... I had it for Nintendo Switch. And then I sold my Switch, which I regret doing every day. And so now, I want to go back and replay through now that I've got my stream and everything set up. And I've actually wanted to, you know, do a Let's Play. So we're going to do it level by level. That way you guys can got to get a feel. You know, anyone looking for it, I, I, I don't know. But nonetheless, this is what we want to do. This is what I've been wanting to do. So we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Um... That's the main goal I've been wanting to do Let's Plays of of uh, video games. So let's do it. Well, the, one of the things that really caught me about this game was uh, obviously the retro, you know, the, the fact that it's one of those side-scroller platformer type, you know, and I love those games. That's what, that's what I grew up playing. You know, when I was a kid, my dad, him and I would sit and play Nintendo, like, you know, the NES, and it's just so fun. Um, I loved it. Uh, my favorite game back then was Batman. I loved playing the, the NES version of Batman. It was one of my favorite games ever, and... To this day, I still play it. I've actually streamed that game a few times, which we might do a let's play of that as well. But nonetheless, so there's a there's a feat you can do like the achievements or the feats, and there's a feat for completing a level without getting hurt. And those two green green globs always hit me because I always forgot about them. So it took me forever when I first got the game to remember to hit them first before I went on. So we're just going to go through and do a complete playthrough of the level, show you all the all of the uh, the little hidden secrets where all the music notes are, all that good stuff. Which, I mean, this first level it's fairly easy. I mean, it's just it's more or less the tutorial. You know, you just do the straight through. It's just straightforward. Do this, do this, do this. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now there's two secrets here actually. We want to kill him first. We got this one. And then you have to kind of know how to do the sword jump to get out there to get that. Then, if you clear away all of this. Oh, nope. Whoops. Yeah, I messed up. I've already got the feet, so it doesn't matter. But. And I want to get the maximum treasure possible out of the level 2, which I'll show you how to do that. You just have to kill and destroy everything that you possibly come across in order to do it. And your treasure, which I mean most of you that's played Shovel Knight, you know. Your treasure is what buys you materials, whether it be suits of armor, new shovels, um, health, magic upgrades, that. So you want to try to collect as much as you can in order to be able to do that. And terrain is a good place to get treasure from as well. So we're going to come over here because we're not going to kill him yet because we need him. We're going to come out here. There's, I'm pretty sure it's been a while since I played this. That's why I want to do a let's play. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's the music note right there. So we want to do that. Now we're going to kill him. 
and get the treasure. Uh-oh. Don't despawn, don't despawn, don't despawn on me! Oh yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Alright, so once again, we're not gonna kill the dragon yet because we have to use him. Now, most, most places in the levels have like a little hint to let you know that, hey, you can destroy this wall, you can go behind it. Well, this one wasn't marked, and I'll show you how you have to figure that one out. Momentarily. So let's go up here, get the treasure chest. Extra treasure. If you'll notice, the next area there has, you could see that. So when I first played this, I thought, okay, how do I get, how do I get in that room? So I just kind of started shoveling walls out, and lo and behold, I found it. And we're going to let that dragon fly because he's too hard to get. I mean, if I really tried, I mean, I'm making myself sound like, like a very lazy gamer. If I really wanted to kill him, I could easily kill him. Little dance, little teabag dance. Funny fact, that's actually a developer. They added that in because someone asked, uh, what was the story? I'm pretty sure I read the developer's notes on that and they said that they added the little crouch feature in like that because someone wanted to be able to dance to the music in teabag, so that's what they did. They added that in so you could do this. Little fun fact. To be honest with you guys, this is the first time I've actually ever played this game on my curved monitor, so the graphics and the color are just absolutely phenomenal right now. I see you there, and I know there's two more. See things like this, like you see that crack in the wall, you know you can hit that and open that. Now we're gonna go this way because, well, well look at that. There's just a random ledge there. Get that little treasure and we come back. Music notes. Not a music note, sorry. My memory's a little jogged. Like I said, it's been a it's been a hot minute since I've played this game, so I wanna kinda replay it. Okay. Oh, so now right here, if you're like low on health or something. Because we're getting ready to go to the boss fight. Now most levels you see I'm bouncing off the checkpoint like this. Most levels you can actually break the checkpoints and make it harder. Harder to play through simply because it gives you more treasure and stuff like that. Makes it kind of more challenging. There's actually a feat in the game to where you beat a level by breaking them all, but you can't do it in the first one. So go up here, and this is where we meet our rival, Black Knight. <clears throat> now, a lot of his dialogue, you can, it's a lot of context clues as to what's going to happen. Um, pretty much goes into the whole story, Shovel Knight story, as to how things go down and stuff like that. He's telling him, stand aside, got no quarrel, he must return to the Tower of Fate, he needs to rescue Shield Knight. Can't you see, this entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. Invincible Knights of the Order of No Quarter. So that's, you kind of learn the Order of No Quarter there as well, they're the, the eight that you have to fight and you know that's another thing that really pulled me to this game was the whole Mega Man thing where you have eight different bosses to fight and it's just it's just really cool so so Black Knight kind of uses the same mechanics and fighting styles as Shovel Knight you know as of course he has a shovel himself oh I timed that wrong as you can see he does kind of a drop and he swings and stuff like that now that's just the first battle later on you have to fight him twice more, and, you know, he has the charge, he can charge up and shoot at you, he gets powers from the Enchantress later on, all that stuff. So, yep, so that's pretty much it. That's the first level of Shovel Knight, Planes of Passage, doing just, just Shovel himself. So now what happens after every major level is you go into what's called a dream sequence. And the dream sequences are just kind of like a... A checkpoint throughout the game to let you know how far you're making it. In each dream sequence, you have to catch Shield Knight here as she's falling, but you have to also ward off enemies while you're doing it. And it's actually really easy. 
Like the first one's super easy. There's no enemies. And you don't really get anything special for catching her. It's just kind of a fun little thing. So you come back and you're sleeping. You can't move. Well, if you jump, get up. Now, a cool little feat for you guys that might not know this. Your first campfire, if you dig it up, you get treasure. But you also get a feat in the game, an in-game feat. And uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But if you go through there and look, it tells you you put out your campfire. And that's how you get that one. So then after beating that, that brings us to the map. And the first place we always go, you always want to go to the, you always want to go to your city. You always want to see what you can do. So we come in, and of course we get made fun of because he says no weapons. And he says that's not a weapon, just a shovel. You may enter and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. So we're going to make our way in. This reminds me a lot of uh, Zelda 2 on the Nintendo, where you would enter the villages and talk to people. Lots of Zelda reference right here. So, the music notes, you'll bring them to this fella right here. <clears throat> the bard. And what he'll do, he'll pay you for every music note that you bring him. And, um, so he gives you 500 gold. And what that also does is unlocks songs you can listen to in the village while you're playing. So, like, watch, I'll show you. We can change. We can talk to him. And we can change the song to... Strike the Earth, see? So we can listen to the first title track while we're in the village. So we'll go on up, blah, 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 blah. Now here's where you will upgrade your health and magic. Now if you talk to this guy, we'll buy his meal ticket. Go ahead and buy it, because it's a thousand. We're gonna go ahead and get us an extra life while we're here. So you notice he starts getting active. That means that you have something for him to give him. You give it to him, blah, blah, blah. Lo and behold. So that gives us our life. Now, if we talk to him again, we have enough to buy another meal ticket, but we're not gonna buy it yet. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade some of our magic while we're at it too. But we can't because we don't have any relics. So if we come down, you'll notice, and these guys play kind of a mini game later on, but we'll, we'll get to them later. Chester, this fella right here, is always going to have your magic artifacts that you can use if you don't find them in the levels. So you always want to come visit him if you can't find your levels, but 99% of your artifacts are in the later levels. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and buy the Chaos Sphere because we definitely need it. It's a, it's a major... Like, it helps you tremendously. And we're going to also go ahead and buy a Trapple Chalice. These, you can have potions later on in the game to um, refill your health. All that good stuff. Secret music note right there. There was a crack in the wall. Okay. So now let's come up here. I think we might have spent more treasure than we should have to get the... Yep, so we can't upgrade our magic yet, so we're going to keep on going. Just explore the village. Now, there's nothing really to do here. You can just kind of do this. That guy goes active. Oh, you really are Shovel Knight. Um, you can bounce on this chick's ring right here. But. You use her. You'll notice you can stand on her back. This is how you get this music note right here and this chest. It's kind of a nifty little treasure. So let's go back and upgrade our magic super quick. So now we have a little bit more magic because that that orb really really helps. It's 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 a area of effect damage where you like shoot it, and as long as it's out bouncing like that, it will hit enemies and just drain their health. Just drain it, drain it, drain it. So yep, that's that. So that's the first level of Shovel Knight. Now when we pick back up, we've got two more levels to go to. We've got we've got Pride More Keep, and we also have the Like Yard. When we pick back up, we'll be going to one of these levels. It doesn't matter which order, but that's the first part of Shovel Knight, and I will see you guys next time. Um, feel free to follow me on twitch.tv forward slash digital clink. Um, we've got all this good stuff here. Probably just drop some frames, but that's okay. 
Come follow me, say all the good stuff, all that good stuff. I just said all that good stuff twice. I always forget what to say at the end of a video because I'm new at this whole content creating thing. But, um, yep, next video will be the next level on Shovel Knight. So, cheers.